So, off we go. The visor down, there we go. Join the A3. So today we're off for some tyres. Because in a couple of days this thing's going to Spain. So uh, it's another opportunity to test out some of this stuff that I've uh, I bought, like the new microphone and uh, mounts etc. I think we're working pretty well. These tyres are very flat in the middle. I've done a lot of mo motorway miles with these tyres and uh, there's a very definite ridge that you need to get over when you want to turn a corner. It's actually, you really have to fight it round. So, before we uh, just get past these guys, before we get to the twisty stuff, in between uh, the various cities we're visiting, it's probably good to get some uh, fresh rubber on this thing, and it actually it's due an MOT while we're away, so uh, get that in a bit early as well. There we go, so that's it for now, I'll speak to you later. Welcome back. Still stuck in the slow stuff behind uh, the ugliest car in the world. A bit of luck we can get out here a bit quicker in a minute or two. It's actually quite warm today. It doesn't look it particularly because it's grey, but it's warm. So um, the quicker I can get going and a bit more air over me will be quite welcome. Let's see if I can do this guy before the line changes and we can. There we go. And we stare at another white car van thing. Oh well. It's not a great deal to see on this bit of the road, I'm afraid. Just boring A road. Or it might even be a B road. I'm not even sure what this is, to be honest, even though I drive it or ride it quite a lot. But it's super dull. So hopefully the audio is working well. I've got this mic, I can just feel that it's just slightly underneath where my bottom lip is <laughs> in the crash helmet, which is kind of unusual because I'm not used to it being there but uh, I'll get used to it but it should be a pretty good position for picking up what I'm saying without tons of breathing and uh, wind noise etc so we hope for the best if you're seeing this then I guess it's uh, not bad quality I tried a few bits this morning whilst taking the little Fiat for a few bits to be done and the quality was terrible because it was handheld and I think definitely I'm going to have to get a second mic for doing uh, bits where I'm not wearing the crash helmet because I can't really be asked to take this thing out every time now I've got it quite nicely fitted inside the helmet Okay, suspended lane, just be a little bit careful because not everybody notices. The truck may want to kill me, so let's just move over. Yep, that plat worked out pretty well, and then we can get on with it a bit. It's a bit more like it. These tyres definitely don't like going around corners at the moment. So, uh, what is this truck going to do? Are you going to stay in your lane? And just, yes, looks like you're just going to going to block me. So, uh, there we go. I'm going to go around the other side. And a uh, terrible bit of driving from the truck, but there we are.
I'm curious as to where he actually wants to go because uh, he's not giving anybody a clue about anything. And there we are. That will do. Now these tyres really have to get over the notch. Hey, there we go. That is not the best bit of road surface anyway. I don't know where that lorry went all the way round, I guess. Um, you can see there you really have to get over the notch in the tyre before it will corner. And uh, I'm going to be looking forward, although I'll have to take it easy on the new rubber. I'm very much looking forward to having some new rubber on this bike because it's actually getting to be a bit of a chore driving this thing with the uh, with the rubber we've got. Come on, S-Type Civic. You've got some beans. Let's see them. do for now. Those of you that know this area and uh, even from people abroad as well might know Box Hill in Surrey as being a kind of biker mecca or rather I think it probably used to be a bit more than it is now um, and just recently it's had even more of a, a setback um, and all will be revealed in a minute, but uh, this area is I've become very popular for cyclists as well, which is actually one of the reasons why I don't really bother with it too much anymore, because they don't have to get in the way. Um, but it used to be two lanes, you can see in a minute, this bit of road, it used to be two lanes of quite high speed road, with some nice twisties here we go on the A24 and a few years ago they did this and knocked it down to 650 and put this ridiculous narrowing of the lanes in completely artificially to make it one lane and it's now a procession basically all the, way, all the time around here unless you're here in the middle of the night um, but just lately they've even put in a average speed camera so it clocks you on the way in and then it clocks you on the way out and works out if you've been a naughty boy or not and if you have you'll get a ticket in the post so very sadly the days of uh, being able to have any fun around here are pretty much done um, if you do happen to have a couple of old uh, license plates knocking around in the back of your garage like I have and you're in a desperate hurry to get somewhere one you could always um, you would always stick one of them on and just not stop for anything until you get where you're going um, couldn't possibly condone that behavior of course but that would be about the only way to um, to do this these days which is rather sad, but there we go. So, this rather nice curvy bit of road, which is about the only interesting bit of road down here, um, is now pretty much dead in terms of having any fun. And we just have to sit and look at the boring cars and creep round somewhere between 40 and 50. So there we go. Um, I suppose if you triggered the first camera, rode in a bit, parked up, had a fag, made a cup of tea or something, um, gave it 10 minutes, you could probably do 100 miles an hour around here and the average would still be under 50. So uh, might have to give that a go at some point, just for the hell of it. But anyway, there we go. So, used to open out and people move out the way 
and oh look see I'm already doing more than 50 and oh dear ah you see that was it that's as good as it gets now so we just drift back in where we were it's a bit sad really the truck obviously doesn't give a shit And here we go, we're going to see when we get around the corner, I'm just, yes, I'm just tickling 50 miles an hour. You'll see the bloody cameras that are going to read my plate on the way out. And there they are. So, um, if you're coming this way, A24, near Dorking, or just before Dorking, in Surrey, UK, watch out for that bloody thing, because uh, you might get a nasty letter. Okay, so, uh, hello, still in Dorking, and uh, for you if you're not familiar with this area, um, and you fancy having a look at a very large cock, well, just have a look on the roundabout as we go around. The Dorking Cock, as it's affectionately known, um, people do all sorts of things to this, like it gets a hat every now and again and presents at Christmas and you name it but uh, it had a rugby uh, scarf on for a while anyway there it is a big cock on a roundabout alright well this is the last bit we're just about there this is a fairly dangerous road in actual fact as you have to get across the fast bit when you want to turn off which is okay today because there's not actually very much traffic but um, on some days it can be a bit of a shit and uh, there we go should be able to just drift over here fairly easily this um, can be a bit gravelly this little road but I think we're alright today we just take it steady that's gonna shout at me because I'm going a bit quick yeah oh, here we go happy days but I'm not going that bloody quick terrible bit of road as usual when you get into the villages they're pretty crap see what the old truck's gonna do there we go give him a wide berth And we trickle down here into the dead end. And we go and see Mr. Beaky. No kidding, it is Mr. Beaky. There it is, Mr. Beaky. And he's hopefully going to give me a, another year's MOT and a couple of sticky rubber things to go on the wheels. Well, uh, here we go. We'll speak to you later.